In my last liver of sulfur video I used a hot plate, and a lot of people asked if it could be done without one. Adding water to sodium hydroxide will create a lot of heat instantly. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to make liver of sulfur without a hot plate. You'll need sulfur, powdered or flake will do, some boiling water, and sodium hydroxide. Here are other names for sodium or potassium hydroxide. You'll also need these items. Most importantly, you'll need a heat resistant glass container to mix it in. The container is key. It will need to be heat resistant, otherwise it will crack due to severe heat shock. It must also be the right shape to avoid hot spewing eruptions. When pouring, wear gloves. It's pretty caustic. I wore a face shield the whole time. Now for the container, I only recommend a 500 ml boiling flask or a 1000 ml beaker. An Erlenmeyer flask will act like a liver of sulfur cannon, so don't. Nope. No. Beaker method. Use the bag of sulfur that comes with my Electroform set, or measure out 10 grams. You can use powder as is, or if you have flake, just crush it up. Also measure out 50 grams of sodium or potassium hydroxide, the lye, and mix it together. Put about half of this mixture into the beaker. Now measure out 100 ml boiling water and slowly pour it into the beaker. You'll see a reaction right away. It's a very fast reaction and it started to dissolve right quick. Now stir. Since there's no heat source, the heat will dissipate rather quickly and we're not done. So let's keep the reaction going and add the rest of the sulfur and hydroxide mix into the solution. Measure out 100 ml more boiling water and carefully add it to the beaker. You'll get another reaction. It's a good idea to wear gloves and stir. Stir for a while, about a minute or two. Now you'll notice there's still a lot of sulfur. If it's lumpy, break it up a bit. I'm going to put this aside and show you the boiling flask method. This patina is good for copper, brass, bronze, and silver. Boiling flask. Now with the boiling flask, its shape will contain the reaction better, so we can do the whole process in one shot. Add the full amount of sulfur and hydroxide. Measure out 200 ml boiling water and carefully pour it in. The funnel helps contain splashing. Off camera, I'm wearing a face shield just in case. Remember, you need your eyes. Wow, it's really hot. Temps can reach 110 C or 230 F. That's above water boiling temperature, so be careful. These are the two batches side by side. The boiling flask one is a bit darker. A bigger reaction, more heat, more sulfur in the solution. Well, for now. I'll let them both sit for 12 hours. 12 hours later. later. These have all been sitting for at least 12 hours and the sulfur is pretty much 100% dissolved. Now please note that I only did the reaction in the lab glassware and not in the mason jars. They may have cracked as they were not designed for this, but they're great for storage. Please support the channel and say hi in the comments below. Mention this video and get a free 10 gram sulfur sample with any purchase. Now this is optional, but filtering it makes it much nicer to work with. Use a PP or HDPE funnel and container and pour through a coffee filter. PET water bottles will dissolve. Now decant into an appropriate jar. These are all good options. Metal will corrode and other plastics may get eaten. This way of doing it is less concentrated than the hot plate version, so you'll need to use a little more. But it's faster to make and it's way more convenient. This is pretty cool. My patina remover. Don't like the patina? Remove it instantly. Rinse and redo. On my website and a subject for another video. Now remember, keep on plating and creating.